Welcome to MacProVideo.com's training for Motion 5. This is going to be a really fun and interesting training. We're going to cover all aspects of this really fun and easy to use program. Motion 5 is really a pretty amazing uh, motion graphics tool, but really I like to just describe it as it's like a playground. Like it really encourages you to experiment and play and try all sorts of really cool things. There's really, uh, it's, it's designed for experimentation and you're going to learn that over the course of this training. This first module is going to be a broad overview of the entire program. I'm going to just sort of give you the highlights throughout the program and get you started using it, give you enough that you'll you know, know how to play with it and know how to get what you want out of it, but then we'll go into much more detail. We're going to do a whole lot of more advanced stuff in the uh, ongoing modules, working with objects and working with text, all the cool things you can do with text, using effects, particles, and replicators, uh, editing, you doing you know, editing in the timeline and using the project browser or animating effects using keyframing and all the cool behaviors and motion tracking. And, and then we'll talk finally about creating content for Final Cut Pro, which is going to be really a lot of what people are going to use Motion 5 for, is to build templates and build projects that you can use inside of Final Cut Pro. And all of this is going to be covered in extreme detail. If you've taken my Final Cut Pro X training, you're going to have a sense of the, the tone and the style of what this is going to be like. It's going to be similar to that, but of course it's a very different program, and we do very different Different things in motion than we do in Final Cut. So with that, let's just get started and jump into the overview of Motion 5.